Alex Steiner, Katie Healer with you. Jake, this game is all about North Dakota getting things off on the right foot, and we are underway here with the 2018-19 season from Ralph Engelstad Arena. Is Haynes stick handling through the zone up to Joel Janet Tweenen. The senior pushing forward. What a spin. Unbelievable stop on the doorstep. JJ can't believe it. Hey, goes for the poke check, misses it. A good job by Janet Tweenen to stick with that. Puck was loose a little bit. Senior centerman that I think there's just going to be staples there. And you wonder if Weatherby, who's a centerman, if he might. Oh, look at that. Mismatch in the back of the Nets. Power play going from North Dakota. And it's 1 0 thanks to the sophomore. That right, took 18 minutes or so, Jake, but. They're on the board here in the first. Well, and it's a power play goal, and that's good. Look at here, you're going to the net. Does a real good job, Spriggs does, of getting that right pad over there. But what I like about Mismash is he just stays right in front of the net. Sometimes you know, he's hot right there, and he follows up that rebound. A lot of guys, if they shoot that, they kind of tail off or don't stop in front of the net. He gets rewarded for being patient. It's only one nothing. That's right, still anybody's game right now. Three minutes into the second period. Dixon Bowen lighting one up and ripping one home. Byron Spriggs, no answer for the junior from East Grand. 2-0 North Dakota. Well, Mismatch says that they're going to score more goals, and I'll tell you how a good thing is, is when your fourth line's chipping in, a real good play here by Hain to drive wide kind of buy a little bit of time right here you see just buying some time buying some time his heads up he's looking Bowen finds that open seam right into that slot area kind of gets the goalie to move a little bit to his right and goes across the gray in a real good shot to take on the Gophers in the Hockey Hall of Fame game Jake you and I will be there along with Katie Hale and our Midco SN team as Manitoba gets one back here out of nothing you get a quick transition, and again, I talk about Taconic, right? Got to be a little bit better defensively. They get around them there. They create a two-on-one. Mismatch gets caught fishing there, and that's just a far pad shot. Well, the Bisons have not made many forays forward, but they've been effective. And now another chance here. Anderson lets it go between the legs, and we are tied at two apiece. Jonah Wayslack with the goal. I said, well, again, just uh, North Dakota just got sloppy in the last three minutes here. Bob almost made the save on that, but a good play just opens him up a little bit. But again, just not tracking back quite hard enough. Kind of an uncharacteristic play, I think, out of Bernard Docker. He's usually pretty steady back there. You want to win this. They played well. But again, I don't think anything really to hold your heads about. I think Brad will be happy with the effort. Here's Pullman now skating in. Shot by Hayne, big save by Spriggs. Maybe the biggest of the night. And that's gonna be enough to send us to overtime here in Grand Forks. A head scratcher for the Grizz. That's who UND gets coming off a bye next week here on Midco SM. 45 seconds left in the period, big blast in front. There it is! You want to talk about leadership, Colton Pullman went right out to Bob Anderson, the goaltender, to kind of give him some comfort. So did Peter Tomey, that just shows you. That's the leadership you look to have. They know he got thrown into kind of a sticky situation there. Nothing really he could do a whole lot. A couple great opportunities, but Rhett Gardner gets the win for North Dakota on the power play. Bernard Docker had the initial blast. Jasper Weatherby in front. Well, let's take a look. The picture's here, Jake Brent. Well, sometimes it's just... When it's not going your way, just get kind of simple. Get pucks and bodies to the net, and that's exactly what they do. A good hard slap shot by Bernard Docker. And then Rick Gardner kind of in that hard zone area, and you just got the sense it was going to be something like this is the only thing that, that was going to beat Spriggs, and that's one that kind of hits him in the chest, and he gives a rebound out there. But I'll tell you what, you got to tip your hat to that goaltender. Yeah, he's going to be a tired boy. 
he uh, he gave this uh, Manitoba squad an opportunity uh, to win this hockey game, but North Dakota prevailed.